My wife was killed in a tragic accident, then I found out she was cheating. Two months ago my wife of 10 years I'm 35 she was 34 tragically passed away in a car accident, hit by a drunk driver in broad daylight. I cried non-stop for three days, we were planning on having kids and I had started a good paying job a year earlier and we just purchased our first home just two months before her death. I just couldn't and still can't believe she is really gone from my life. It's like just yesterday everything was heading in the right direction and would soon raise a family. She seemed happy in our marriage and stated how proud of me she was. The following week after the accident I received her phone, which was locked. After a week I found out how to unlock it by an obvious code I didn't think of earlier. I simply just wanted it to keep photos in her memory, photos of us and so forth but I saw some odd things in her photos. Included photos of her in someone else's house, a house which I had never seen before, taking provocative images. I continued scrolling down and seen the most heart-wrenching thing I ever seen. Which was her with another man, it was nothing s time mule but they were in a place that was obviously his. And just how close they were I just knew that this was an affair. The guy who wife had an affair with, showed up at her funeral. I felt like I got stabbed in the gut when I realized I seen him there. I began reading her texts and first I found out that she was on her way back, from his place. Three hours before the accident she texted him saying I'm on my way. I knew that meant he was the last one to see my wife. Not only see her but having an intimate moment with her, also she would still be here right now if she wasn't seeing him. I feel like I'm going through a death of a loved one and a breakup at the same time. She did this behind my back and will never know that I found out. In a way I feel she got to escape the heartbreak she put me through, Although I fully understand death is much worse and even knowing everything I know, I would never ever wish this or any pain upon her. I found out not only through her texts but her Facebook messages. Something that absolutely enrages me is that she told her closest friend that this guy from work wanted to take her out to dinner, her friend encouraged her to go out with him. It enrages me cause I knew her as well and in person she was always very nice. But my wife was asking her to get confirmation, had she said no you are married do not go out with him. I honestly feel like she wouldn't have done it. But her best friend was like oh is he hot. Oh do it. Go have fun it's just ducking in raging. This happened six months ago when she asked her friend about it, a few days later she talked to her friend about how after dinner she went to his place and had s time multiple times. When I read that I honestly got physically sick. I honestly started going through a breakdown, vomiting in the toilet then crying on the bathroom floor. I just can't imagine that this stuff actually happened, but it did. How could she do this? But as the days passed and the initial shock began to slow down, I started piecing things together. The funeral I noticed something a little unusual, which was this best friend of hers, talking to one of her co-workers. This was a friend from high school and there was no reason she should have known any of her co-workers. But she was in fact talking to her co-worker who she had the affair with. Then she came and talked to me, gave me a hug. The guy who my wife was having an affair with, came and shook my hand. Something about that just makes me feel sick. Like I was being humiliated in a moment of grief, there was him and her best friend who knew about her affair. I couldn't help but wonder, did her co-workers also know? It's been a month and I feel no closer to breaking away from the heartbreak. I miss her, I want her to be alive, 
If she was I would probably even want to fix our marriage. But she's not here anymore. I still couldn't bring myself to read all of her text messages with him, there is hundreds and some are s timely e plicit. My blood boils and my heart aches when I open their texts and I get hit with anxiety and an adrenaline rush, palms get sweaty and hands shake. But I feel it's important I knew everything. It just breaks my heart this guy did things with my wife, she wouldn't do for me. The thing that blows my mind the most is that there were no warning signs at all, not ducking one. Our marriage was good, she never did anything suspicious, our s-time life went on as normal. Just zero warning signs about it other than the fact she started wearing a little more makeup than usual. Then I blame myself for not catching on, maybe this all could have been prevented, maybe I should have done this or that. I am broken and don't see myself ever being happy again. Edit. Thanks everyone for all the support, I honestly didn't expect so much response. Everyone who wished me well thank you and know that your kind words give me strength. I have got a response back from her friend, stating that she is deeply sorry for encouraging the behavior and not taking my feelings into account. She never wanted me hurt and yada yada. Honestly I don't feel any relief from her apologies. About the phone, I cannot bring myself to destroy all the truth. I feel like I must read through the entirety of my wife's texts with this man or I will forever go crazy wondering what did and didn't occur, how often and maybe get some answers on if they were lovers, was it just lust s time or what did she plan on doing. Obviously in this state of trauma I cannot emotionally handle reading their conversations but I decided to keep the phone, to read it all and then toss it and move on. Also for people telling me to PSS on her grave, or saying this is karma please drop it and don't comment. I loved her for over a decade and it's not going away like that, I still love this woman even with the disgusting things she has done she was still my wife, a daughter and an aunt. She didn't deserve to get hit by some drunk driver and suffer with bleeding her brain that ultimately caused her death. Please go away I do not need this and I am not a sick-minded enough man to have those thoughts. For everyone else, thank you so much. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, my god, I so incredibly sorry for you that I have no words. I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through, that's a lot of conflicting emotion. I know this is the standard Reddit response, but I very highly recommend seeking out therapy. You need support in this. I'm so sorry for your loss. Redditor 2 there have been discussions on which would be worse partner dies versus partner cheats. This must be hell on earth. I am so sorry. Redditor 3, is her affair partner married? When are you going to tell the friend that you found out, and that you know she encouraged her to do it? Story 2. Daughter's drunk confession turned my world upside down and current circumstances make it even worse. Not sure if this is the right place to post this since my situation is very different from others but I am desperate. My wife and I have been together for 25 years but married for 19, we are high school sweethearts and have two amazing kids a daughter and a son, I was honestly under the impression that we had a solid marriage that our relationship wouldn't be like our friends and colleagues and we'd actually stand the test of time. Now I see how spectacularly naive and wrong I was. My wife has been a stay-at-home mom for most of our adult lives, something we both agreed but after our kids went to college she began feeling restless empty nest syndrome I guess, she would tell me she was feeling unfulfilled and felt like she had lost sense of who she was. I tried recommending hobbies we could do together, 
places we could visit or even adopting puppies if that would help and at first she was all for it but soon began saying she wanted to feel like she was contributing and not simply coasting through life. I understood and was willing to support her, she never liked sitting still so I kind of expected it. She complained to a few friends and one of them actually managed to get her an interview at a real estate firm she used to work in one before having the kids and I was just as excited as she was when she accepted. In the beginning things were going great but after the first year I noticed some changes, she started going to drink ups with co-workers, began texting a lot more than usual when at home and at odd hours at night. She even started wearing a particular type of perfume and would wear more suggestive clothing, nothing too revealing or slutly but clothing that complemented her body figure a lot more than usual. But what made me suspicious was when I accidentally saw a message from a male co-worker on her phone wasn't snooping which seemed to be a highly inappropriate and flirtatious, I asked about it and I could tell she was slightly shaken but assured me he was simply a friend and she would talk to him about his inappropriate messages. Me not wanting to be the paranoid, jealous and controlling husband chose to believe her and let it go oh how I wish I didn't. Her behavior got more strange as time went on, she started mentioning how she wanted to be more spontaneous with life, and even picked up smoking W. Ed. I made jokes about how she seemed to be living the same college lifestyle as our kids and suggested she slow down, but she dropped an absolute boom when she mentioned in a drunken state after another night of going out that maybe I dim her lights and hold her back. I was completely blindsided by this and really believed I was messing up somehow so I tried to do everything to improve the marriage, even booked counseling but it went nowhere. Then out of the blue that strange behavior stopped. My wife apologized for the way she had acted, she said it was like she forgot who she was but realized she what she had at home and knew she didn't want to lose it. She resigned from her job and we began MC, it was tough initially but things improve immensely and for the two years our marriage was better than ever. She was more attentive, she initiate intimacy more and would shower me with affection. The only problem is that her relationship with our daughter seemed to be in a nosedive, I would question my wife about it but she would tell me it was a growing phase or a woman thing and once again I would take her word for it. Funny thing is during this period my relationship with my daughter improved, she would call a lot more, meet me for coffee or lunch often during the week and even bought me gifts t-shirts and stuff. I always told her it wasn't necessary but she insisted, and I could always tell she wanted to say something but would hold her tongue. Tragedy struck one evening as my wife was returning from doing groceries and she was hit by a drunk driver, she unfortunately lost the use of legs and has been wheelchair bound ever since. Things got really bad and she would make suggestions of about me sleeping with other women to which I obviously refused, I just choked it up to her depression and reminded her that I was here to stay because I loved her more than our situation. This actually made her cry and ask me why I was so good to her or what did she do to deserve me, again I choked it up to depression and just tried to help her as best I can. Sometime later we went for our medical checkups the doctor sat us down to inform us that they found a mass in my wife's throat, it was of an unusual size and because it may be cancerous they have to do a biopsy. My first reaction was shock whereas my wife was just blank at first then she started laughing, it started small then became hysterical as she began mumbling that this was her punishment. We managed to claim her down but she requested that before the biopsy we could do a family dinner, I of course agreed and we had our kids and immediate family over. I made a speech about how my wife was the light of my life and how we'd get through this but at the end of my speech I noticed my daughter was rather uncomfortable, I thought that maybe it was because of what was going on that made her feel that way. 
The next evening my daughter phoned me drunk, begging me not to hate her. At first I was confused but reassure her that I would never hate her because she my little girl and I will always love her, at those words she goes on to tell me how she caught her mother cheating on me with a man she had never seen before. It was during her my wife time at the real estate firm, my daughter gone on a road trip with some friends and decided to pass by a dinner they don't normally frequent to get a bit and that's where she saw her mother lip locked with a man that nothing like me. Apparently this was why their relationship deteriorated and ours improved. I confronted my wife and to her credit she didn't deny it, through tears she confirmed it was the co-worker from the messages and says it was the dumbest thing she has ever done. She said he was always coming on to her and eventually wore down her walls, she tells me getting caught by our daughter made her realize the gravity of what she was doing. She wanted to take it to the grave because she never wanted to hurt me, and was too much of a coward to confess so she begged our child not to tell me. I am absolutely shattered at the revelation and don't know what to do, I now question every aspect of our relationship and wonder where I went wrong. She tells me I was a good husband and that none of this is on me. The problem is since that time I haven't been loving towards her, I still take care of her but it's more like a nurse does with a patient rather than a husband to his wife. If I leave her she will be completely stranded, she is dependent of me both financially and emotionally and it seems immensely unfair. Sorry if it seems all over the place but I am a mess right now.